Today's gonna be like a one taker at my desk. A me just yakety yak. Um, try not to get sick. I have um, this isn't a cough drop, it's a boost thing. I, I, last night I started getting a tickle on my throat. I don't feel bad. And uh, today, one of the places I went to was Rite Aid. I went in, I was looking at all the, I got some Alka Seltzer, cold and flu pills. I feel like menthol, I took two. And then um, I got some emergency chewy gummies that are supposed to boost your vitamin C and stuff to help you combat getting sick. I got home and took, it says eat three gummies a day. So I got home thinking, and they look like little orange slice candies. I'm like, ooh, these look good. Ooh, these don't taste like orange slice candies. <laughs> Very medicine-y. <laughs> so I ate those three. Not enjoyable, but I did it. <clears throat> and now I have a um, watermelon thing. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't get sick. <clears throat> then, let me see, what's been going on? Last time I filmed was Thanksgiving. Friday was a do nothing day. Friday and Saturday both. I got up, stayed in my pajamas all day, ate leftovers, uh, chilled. And Saturday, yesterday, got up, took a shower, and I'm like, before I take a shower, I'm like, are we going anywhere today? Dad's like, I don't have any plans going anywhere. I'm like, Okay, so I've got out clean pajamas, <laughs> took a shower, put on pajamas at 10 o'clock in the morning, stayed in them for the rest of the day. I tried to get a gumption about 5 to go to town because at 5.30 we had our Christmas parade. <clears throat> My gumption did not, it did not come. I finished up the, episode, the season of The Blacklist I was watching. Oh, Mr. Kaplan. Uh, I love her. Um, and I started Wentworth finally last night. I got through one episode and part of another one. So yay! And uh, today we got up, took a ride. Dad wanted to go for breakfast at the Legion in Galeen. We went and had breakfast. And then Dad's like, you know, today would be a good ride to go to the Red Barn which is that junk store that we went to where grandma bought her marijuana leaf hat. I'm like, okay, we'll go. And, uh, which is about an hour away. So, doo -ba doo here we go. And, um, we'd never gone on a weekend. Quite a few more people than we're used to, but that's okay. Bought some socks, six pack of socks for like $1.49, got two packs. I got a pack of gloves, a dozen gloves. They're like knit, they're pink and, um, blue they were half off and the pack was $3.99 so half that it's like two bucks I got like 12 pairs of gloves um dad got some gloves for my cousin Bart he got one of those Nanooka the North hats that have the flaps for the ears and the fuzzy artificial fur he got himself one and he got Bill the neighbor one and he got Bill some socks some winter socks and uh, oh, the per one of the main reasons was I went to go get some more of those spray bottles that are about e tall, empty spray bottles because we put like I said three in each truck. One has scent, one has I don't know what, and one has urinal cleaner in it. So um, I went right to where they were. They had two boxes full. One had 20, one had 21. I did not know this, so I checked out because I told the guy, I'm like, I don't know how many are in here. I just grabbed them. <clears throat> and I said, since I'm buying all you have left, because this store has signs all over. It says, if you're going to buy a bulk of something, we'll give you a better price. I said, since I'm buying what you have left, these two boxes, do I get them for cheaper? He goes, of course you do. And they're, because they're only 88 cents a spray bottle. And um, the manager went by and the kid goes how much are we going to charge her for these since she's getting all we have left and he goes 65 cents so so I got it for 65 cents a bottle so we have 41 spray bottles 
I, I see that I looked to see if they had shop racks, but they didn't. He went and looked. Dad was gonna get himself one of those nifty little hats, but he couldn't find one with the little marijuana leaf on it. But he ended up with his Nanook of the North hat because he'd been wearing mine outside, and I'm like, dude, get your own hat. He likes it because it's got the ear flaps, so when he goes out there, the, the air doesn't get in his ears right away. I like to change my hats up. Like, I gotta dig all my hats and scarves out because I have a place in the kitchen I put them and I'll have to look to see what mood I'm in and what scarf or hat I wear. It's fun. Since I don't wear jewelry or anything like that, that's my accessory. Uh, so we went shopping, came home. Bill, a neighbor, came over. We gave him his socks and his hat. And uh, he wanted me to help him. He has a smartphone, but he doesn't really know how to use it that well. And uh, and he has he does not have an iPhone. S Samsung Android phones confuse the heck out of me. Really, they do. So he didn't have much space in there, and he couldn't it wouldn't pull up the gallery because there wasn't enough space. And I was trying to figure out how to delete some stuff. And I'm like, dude, let me just take a picture on my phone and send it to whoever you need to send it to, and I'll just tell them it's from you. So it had something to do with his insurance. He had to. Uh, send a declaration of something because he's switching insurance companies so so mine I went quick mail gone two seconds I sat there on his phone for like 10 minutes trying to figure stuff out I'm like oh I do not like the Android um, so what did you guys do for your weekend did anybody go Black Friday shopping I've never been one to do that now back in the day, my dad and his brother would do it once in a while. Did my mom, my mom and dad did it a few times. Dad went a couple years ago, but he went to a farm store on Black Friday. It isn't quite the same craziness as like Best Buy or that kind of thing. One of our um, news guys was outside of our mall. Apparently his video has going, been going a little bit viral. And... <laughs> The, they'd sent him there to cover the Black Friday frenzy and he's outside the wall there's nobody there. It's like here I am, nobody's here. First time I get to cover this, nobody's here. <laughs> he said I got up at 3.30 in the morning to get here for this. Nobody's around. <laughs> that was cracking me up. Um, Got most of my work done, but then Bill came, so I gotta get a deposit ready for probably take it on Tuesday. Tomorrow dad's gonna go to the dentist and finish up the work. They'll take off the temporary crown or cap or whatever the heck it is. It's over here. And uh put on the permanent one. So he'll have fun. But then tomorrow night he goes to Monday Night Football and I'll be in a peaceful house and be able to catch up on The Walking Dead and I, I'm, I'm like five episodes uh, still of finishing American Horror Stories. It kind of pittered out and then I stopped watching it. I waited till a bunch of them, they're all done now. So I'll watch that probably not tomorrow night because I'll probably catch up on some other things. I would love to go to Walker Stalker and Heroes vs. Villains in Chicago. It's like two cons in the same building, and the ticket gets you into both. Oh, that'd be awesome. But yeah, no, nah, probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Anything else? I did complete another box of Christmas cards yesterday. They're all in this box right here. I have, I'm halfway done. So I have two boxes of 40. And about 25, I have a littler box here. That should do and get everybody done. I need to get done for business. I have a little callus right here from where my, my finger sits on the pen. But I will get them. Dang it. I will get them. Then I'm going to save my cousin Joanne come over this week to help put up the Christmas tree. And next weekend is treat making weekend. It'll be on. 
because yesterday, no, Friday, I went out in the garage, rearranged some things, went out to that garage, grabbed a table, like we have a six foot banquet table, grabbed that, brought up the front garage. Dad's like, you need help? I'm like, nope, I got it. <laughs> and um, I set that up because I shuffled one table down and I had room for this empty table. And I said, nothing goes in this table. This table is for treat making. He goes, I know, I don't want to get a whooping. I'm not putting anything on that table. I'm like, okay. You will get in trouble, mister. My dad has a big habit of it. So there's an empty table sitting in the garage or something. It'll start getting stacked upon. So. Um, let me give you a quick update on my friend's grandma, Nikki. Her grandma came home Thanksgiving. Um, she has physical therapists that come. Uh, occupational therapists that come. Nurses that come a couple times a week. She did have to get a feeding tube. Um, she hasn't sat up in her chair yet. Nikki was kind of freaked out last night. We were talking. She said Graham felt hot. So she ran to the um, Rite Aid up the road and bought a thermometer. The kind that is infrared that you don't have to wake her up to take her temperature. You just kind of put it close to their forehead and it reads the temperature without even touching them, apparently. They fancy. And uh, she was running a temperature last night of like 101.3. So she called the nursing media and said what was going on, and they said to give her some NyQuil. So she gives her that in her G-tube. And her fever broke about five in the morning because um, she was hoping she didn't have to call the ambulance. Because, you know, they didn't want pneumonia to set in or anything like that, so. She had a very tense evening. Um, so, she, uh, Got Graham all settled today. Graham was more talkative today. Jibber jabber. Sometimes you can't understand her. Um, she was even laughing some. So that's good. She still has not sat up in her chair. So the only time she can get food or water is through her G-tube. The only time she can eat. Uh, she had to buy this uh, thickener stuff to put in food. Because anything liquidy she could choke on easily. It has to be a certain consist consistency, I guess. So, but she can't try to eat unless she's sitting up in her chair. So as of as of the since she's been home, she's not done that. So maybe in the next couple days, if she starts feeling better, she'll get in her chair and try to eat some real food and practice her swallowing. We'll see how it goes. Oh, she also has a sore on her bottom that Nikki has to watch. So Nikki got her all educated and she was going to go run and do some shopping to get groceries in the house. And her husband's like, Nikki's like, just listen to the monitor because they have a monitor. And um, he's like, uh, how about I go shopping? <laughs> so she made him a list and, and the daughter wanted to go. And so him and her took off and went to Costco and they're going to go to Walmart. And who knows where else, but he, I guess it kind of, he was afraid if, and he went something would happen and I guess maybe he didn't know what he was gonna do so <clears throat> all right I'm gonna shut up now because this is going on 14 minutes of just a ridiculous babble I will see you all later bye